Hi guys! Welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, meron tayong random math problem galing from algebra. Specifically, this is under quadratic equations na tinanong ang isa sa mga subscribers natin na si Rodel Gabriel. So load dito yung tanong mo and ito yung approach ni Sir IG pa paano sagutan yung ganitong klase ng tanong. So this is basically a word problem. So an audience of 540 people is seated in rows having the same number of persons in each row. If three more persons sit in each row, it would require two rows less to sit the audience. How many persons were in each row originally? So basically, kapag ganito yung klase ng problem, kailangan kasi isa-isahin mo siyang maigi para at least you will anal, I mean, mas maintindihan mong maigi, you will further understand the meaning of each phrase or each statement in the given problem. So, di ba ang sinabi, we have 540 people and there are number of rows and there are number of persons in each row. So, let's say, let R be the number of rows. Number of rows. And since there are a number of persons in each row, let's say, we represent it as S. S is the number of person or number of persons in each row. Okay? So, this is how you analyze the given problem. Okay, next. We know that the number of people or the number of audience is a total of 540. So, 540 yung tao natin. So, ang product ng number of rows at number of persons in each row will be equal to the total number of people. So, for our first equation, we have RS is equal to 540. This will be our first equation. Okay? Next. If three more persons sit in each row, so ibig sabihin na dagdagan, we will add three persons in each row. Ano ba yung per number of persons in each row? That is S. If that is S and you increase it by 3, so that will become S plus 3. So S plus 3 multiplied by... So what happened is that it would require two rows less. Therefore, the number of rows will be decreased by 2. And the number of seats or the number of persons in each row will be increased by 3. So this will be multiplied by R minus 2. Because of the statement, 2 rows less to seat the audience. Diba mga Lodi? So saan to equal nga sir IJ? That is still 540. Because yun yung total natin. That is the total number of people in the given audience. Diba mga Lodi case? Okay. So anong gawin natin dito? So this will be our second equation. So, simplify natin yung second equation using the, fo the FOIL method. First, outer, inner, and last. So, first, R times S, RS. Outer natin will be plus 3R. Our inner will be 2S, negative 2S. And our last will be negative 6. is equal to 540. But we know that RS is equal to 540. Since we have 540 on the left side and on the right side, we can cancel them out. So, what will happen is that we have 3R is equal to 2S plus 6. Nilipat ko lang mga load kicks, di ba? So, what will happen? So, what will happen is that it will become R is equal to 2S plus 6 all over 3. Right? So, we, that's right, di ba mga load kicks? Kasi ang inahanap natin, how many persons were in each row? So, we are looking for the variable S. So, what we want to do is we will directly solve for S dun sa equation natin. Huwag na natin isolve si R. Solve na natin directly si S. Pero pakita rin natin ano yung value ni R. So, ano nang mangyayari dito, Sir IJ? So, what will happen is that we will substitute it in the, in the first equation na na-formulate natin. So, we have R, which is 2S plus 6 all over 3 multiplied by S. So, this is R mga Lodi, di ba? Ito yung R natin. Di ba? multiplied by S is equal to 540. So, magiging 2S times S, so that is 2S squared plus 6S is equal to 540. Itong 3, lipat lang natin sa kabila, multiply natin both sides by 3. 540 times 3 mga Lodi cakes, so that is 1,620. We can simplify both equations by dividing them by 2, kasi yun yung greatest common factor natin. So, dividing both equations by 2, we will have C S squared plus 3S equals, divide natin to sa 2 mga lodi, anong lalabas? Okay, tama ka dyan, that is 810. So, this is a bit of factoring na. So, S squared plus 3S minus 810 equals 0. 
So, isip ka ng dalawang numbers na ang product ay negative 800 din, na ang sum ay positive 3. So, syempre, isip ka, try mo muna kunyari, 30 tsaka 27. So, pwede yon Kasi that will become 3. So, dapat dito mabilis ka mag-isip. Pero, pwede nyo namang isa, isa yun yung mga uh, pair of factors nyo. Pwede nyo simulan ng 10 and 81, and then, since hindi nag-work yung 10 and 81, so, you will come up with 10 times 3, that's 30. 81 divided 3, that's 27. So, we have 30 and 27. So, S plus 30 multiplied by S minus 27 equals 0. So, this will be negative. So, we have to discard the solution because we don't have a negative number of people. Therefore, the correct answer is 27 persons in each row. If we want to compute the number of rows, so the number of rows is 20. So, this is 20, this is 27. Check natin. If we increase this by 3, 27 plus 3, that is 30. 540 divided by 30, that's 18. Therefore, the number of rows from 20 to 18, naging 2 rows less na siya. So, it follows that our answer is correct. So, sana na-solve ko yung problem mo, Rodel. And, ayun mga Lodi, sana mas may natutunan kayong panibago for today. And, pagpalain kayo palagi ni Lord, keep safe na lang mga Lodi, especially pandemic pa rin ngayon. So, ingat-ingat na lang mga Lodi Cakes. And, subscribe din po pala kayo sa mother ko, Mary Ann Maling. So, kulay, uh, I mean, more on cooking po yung vlog niya and yun. So, support din po natin siya by subscribing to her channel. And, yun. Sana mas marami pa kayo matutunan sa mga susunod na mga tutorials ni Sir IJ. And, pagpalain kayo palagi ni Lord. Keep safe, bye-bye, and God bless.